Alright, alright, hey, what's going on? It's Ben here, bringing to you a combo line art. And I've been having a little bit of trouble all around with this particular deck with recording. The Objector Gator glitches aren't making the deck any easier to play, and I've been having a little bit of trouble making my recordings as smooth as possible. So bear with me here, and back to the game. That's a little bit troublesome if I do say so myself. So let's... Hmm. There's no minions, so Holy Immolation is a little bit weaker right now. Hopefully I can get some kind of turn 1 play. I have a lot of combo pieces, but nothing to develop turn 1, so this Arcolite Regalia might come into some severe play. Yeah, Saber Spine Tigers are nice to have. I usually only really need one. And sometimes not at all, because I could get uh, Iron Heart on one of the minions I already have on the board. Unfortunately, I don't have any minions, so I might need uh, Saber Spine Tiger to win. Unfortunately, the deal with Saber Spine Tiger is that it does take a huge huge amount of mana to actually utilize it. Hmm, Arclight Regalia is not that attractive, but I don't really have another choice, do I? I'm not taking any damage, so I can't really complain if I'm using the Arclight Regalia here. Ooh. I still want to develop the Arclight Regalia first, though. I might as well put on pressure by developing this Regalia. <laughs> okay. So the problem with Objecticator is that it seems to have some problems with 1 mana spells. It doesn't actually reduce the cost of 1 mana spells, which is really, really unfortunate. Hmm, the Magnetize is a pretty good pickup. I just need Objecticator to get this combo going. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, well after that, I pretty much get destroyed by a Songhai player. As my first turn, I didn't take out the Kaido Assassin with the Sears Spine Tiger, which is a huge mistake because I was already behind on board. And after the fourth match, I just lost my Arclight Regalia, and I was just so far behind because all those ranged minions on the board. You can't do really anything about that, and the things just didn't line up too well. So I'm going to fast forward through that game, and then I'll go to the next game, which um, should be a little bit better. Yeah, this was a pretty good hand. I actually kept it because I have a couple of card draws things, so I can actually use my first two turns pretty well. Oh. That's a pretty major thing. Yeah, that's a pretty good battle pet. Unfortunately <laughs> for me. I guess it just makes me want to put down a spell jam over here. This is one of the few cases where I just want to put him down. Quickly. Or I want to go up here because I don't want this guy to contest me. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But I can force this guy into attacking into a blade sound, so it'll be a good trade. Yeah, this is pretty good. Or I can force him to attack into a wisp, I believe. Well, it really depends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not good. I can't deal with that at all. <laughs> Let's first get rid of the Mardome. I don't think I use. I want to use the Mardome on this guy. Oh, this is very good, very good, very good, very good. Uh, this is not really a good place that I can avoid our Sarlacc from trading into that dude, so I will do what I can. I want to develop a Blaze Sound, but actually putting down the Care is a way better trade. Yeah, might as well, might as well. It is what it is. I guess I would still rather draw a card, but... Oh, I guess there's no point drawing a card anyway, because I had a spell jammer. Yeah, actually, burning cards isn't that big of a deal. Well, it depends on what you burn, I guess. <laughs> like, burning a magnetize can be a pretty big deal, but burning a object, uh, if you're a master, not too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has his Bloodborne spell going down. At this point, I actually have too much card draw, which is, you know, a little bit surprising. Usually don't have that problem of too much card draw. Come on, too much card draw? You can't have that problem. I'd probably be using the Saber Spine Tiger as a com well, as a piece to remove one of these guys. Okay. Infinite pings, I actually like this deck. <laughs> I kind of wanted to build it, but I cannot. Put down the Blaze Hound here. These guys can't contest the Blaze Hound just yet. I guess I'll get rid of one of the Saber Spine Tigers. I don't really want to, though. But I don't really have a choice, because otherwise I'm just developing a Wisp. And I'm burning more cards, I guess. Oh, uh, well, that's a 4-4. It's not, it's not bad. I can continue to drop him down and attack. Puts on an imposing body, and I... Yeah, iron, iron Clip card is good. It's good. So for 6 mana, I can deal 13. So that's not bad. Puts me very, very close. In very, very good position. That's really, really bad. <laughs>
guess I will be replacing a Sun Wisp. Ooh, that can be good. Not in this case, but it could be good in the future. <laughs> Okay, so I have a pretty expensive combo, 9 damage for, well 9 mana for 13. But the game's going a little bit slowly, so I feel like I have the time to actually do that if I need to. But otherwise I could get the damage later or I can get it right now. That's very close, very very close, very very close. <laughs> I'm really hoping I can do it. Ah, oh, Shadow Dancer, come on man. So much healing in this deck. I have to use another Saber Spine Tiger to get rid of that, unfortunately. At least I'm able to get rid of it. <laughs> That's uh, some solace, I guess. I'll get rid of one of the Magnetizes. Probably don't need a Magnetize at all, to be honest. I'm using so much damage on getting rid of his stuff that I'm not actually able to put on the damage I need to take him out. I'm not getting any more damage, so it's not being very helpful. <laughs> There's actually a distinct possibility that I need two Divine Bonds here. Or some somewhere. Still set up for lethal here though, so that's that's something I guess. Ah, oh, ritual bashing, come on man. That's really bad. Cause I don't have a board to actually get rid of his stuff or him. Can't get rid of him. Alright, Blaze Hound, give us some good stuff. Probably should have drawn that first. Alright, let's replace the Regalia. Magnetize, I could replace one of those. I don't really need two of them. Holy Immolation, okay. Not good, not good. I could just lose here, so it's kind of unfortunate if he's, uh, if he's really running, if he's running burn, then I, I just lose here, right? Because that's easily like 15 damage. Two Divine Bonds. This is actually a thing where <laughs> I could deal 23. A little bit unlikely still though. Because he's probably going to run away. Yeah, I just lose here. Unfortunate. Oh, way too much healing. Nasty. Still no turn one play. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, I get rid of the uh, emulation. I have to use my Saber Spine Tiger to get rid of this dude. At least that's what I feel like I have to do. Although the Nexuses are looking pretty good. Although Nexuses are pretty bad because... It doesn't do anything. Or they don't get reduced by objective care, so they're pretty bad. At this point. But if I could get objective care, that'd be really good. Okay, that's terrible. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to go for some setup here. Don't want to burn cards. I, I still need more cards, but I can use these resources on this dude. After all, the, the Nexus is not too bad to just use on a spell jammer. <laughs> that's a pretty big spell jammer if I do say so. <laughs> that's pretty great. I have a magnetize for that too, so it's also pretty neat. I can actually just use one divine bond. Not quite, I guess. Yeah, these are pretty good keeps.
I'm actually threatening almost lethal here. Alright, never mind. Oh, Spectral Revenant. See you later. It's pretty gross. I can deal 14 with, with these guys, yeah. Not exactly a game plan, though. Uh, let's just draw here. Because that can be a strong pickup. And I... Oh, I should replace that first. My bad. Or at least he couldn't take out this dude. It should be lethal. Well, I think if I use this, it's better, right? Man, the real problem is that this should be lethal, but it might not be because of glitches. See, that used one mana, but the magnetize works, so that's good. So it's pretty much the Nexus that doesn't work. <laughs> but the this guy does work, so... Oh wait, I didn't even need to use that. Oh man, my, my bad. I, I risk a loss because of that. Oh my gosh. Alright, hey, welcome to the end of the video. That was a combo liner, and you know, that deck had a little bit of trouble just because all the objective problems that I can't actually use a Nexus as a zero mana card. I have can, I'm going, it's going to be one mana no matter what you do to it. So hopefully when the chains get thick, this deck will feel a little bit easier to play. Otherwise, the deck seems pretty cool, when, especially when you get to pull off the combos with the Iron Cliff Guardian and the, what do you call it? The Azure Lion. So I might not be taking the deck super optimally, but I thought, you know, it was a pretty fun experience to play and, you know, Definitely can do better about Arc Light Regal. It's usually not very useful, and you definitely want to put out some more low curving cards so you can actually put something down on the first few turns so you don't have this clog of your Holy Immolations at Arc Light Regal. Arc Light Regal is pretty good as a standalone card, but in this combo oriented deck, you definitely don't want it. In fact, you might actually want to put in more sticky minions in the deck because actually, a lot of times you don't actually want to use a Saber Spine Tiger to charge an Iron Cliff Guardian, but instead, you want to have some kind of minion on the board. You can magnetize it in, change it to Iron Cliff Guardian, and put down the Divine Bonds for lethal. So that was it. So check out some more videos and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you.